that's a thermostat. Uh, I bought this on eBay, slightly used, uh, substantially cheaper than a, a brand new unit. Upgrading old Honeywell uh, thermostat control with the uh, Nest. Here I've uh, popped the cover of the old Honeywell thermostat. Um, this is a very straightforward installation, except I made a significant uh, rookie move. Very prominent in the instruction book. The first step is uh, power down the, the electrical line to the AC, AC unit. Actually, here it's off. Uh, this is already, uh, it says furnace, but it's uh, basically HVAC. That's turned off. I failed to do that important little step, and I thought I was being very careful with the wires. And I'll tell you what the problem was. Okay, here's all the wires uh, reconnected. The blue wire was not connected on the old Honeywell, so I'm leaving it uh, unconnected here as well. And then uh, we proceed to uh, pop in the unit. And this is, uh, we see that the, the red, green, yellow, and white uh, wires are connected. However, we're getting this. No power to the RC wire detected. Learn more at uh, nest.com e73. Okay, so I proceeded to uh, use the support chat function within the Nest app on my phone to troubleshoot this problem with the uh, with the Google Nest support folks for about two hours, and uh, to try to do various things. They told me to. Uh, cut off the tips of the the wires and to and to expose fresh uh, wire to reinsert. Did that thinking it might be a loose connection. Still got the uh, problem. Um, and uh, finally, they told me that I had a faulty base unit, which is this or this. Uh, Sure, maybe this is a base unit, and that I needed to proceed to return it. Um, so I installed my old thermostat again because you know it's kind of hot, it's summer, and I need my AC firing. And lo and behold, my old AC unit um, wasn't working either. So I said, "Shoot, then it's probably not the Nest. I think there's a problem with this uh, red wire. There's no power to it." So I googled quickly what is the common cause of losing power to the RC unit and the problem most uh, prominent in my search was um, a short circuit. If you fail to turn off the circuit breaker to the unit when you're making this exchange, which I fail to do, you will short circuit a fuse. Let me show you where that fuse is. Okay, I'm in my garage now and this is my HVAC unit. Uh, they're all built more or less the same. Um, I had already loosened this panel to get to the circuit boards, which is partially hidden, but hey, look at that. There's those, uh, those wire colors, white, yellow, red, C, and G. Okay, I'm taking this off as well because this is loose. These two come off together. Um, I also had to take off screw here and here to take off this little plate. And you definitely want to make sure that the electricity on the main panel to this system is off or you can get a nasty, um, a nasty um, electrocution. So there is this little fuse that sets, uh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. That little purple thing with the number three on it. That's a fuse to the power, to that little red line. And what happened was I must have touched some of those wires together because this fuse, this is common fuse found for automobiles. Uh, see in the middle there, that's, uh, there's that spot, which means there was like a little flame when that little wire got too hot and those two wires in between are no longer touching. This fuse is shot. This is the problem. So that's why even replacing it with the old thermostat, it's not working. I thought, why on earth am I going to find a fuse like this? Turns out this is a common automotive fuse. And at the local AutoZone, I was able to find a little pack of five. And they have number three, and they're, they're, they're all purple. 
Okay, and this just uh, this just slides right in to that little uh, to those two slots where that's this is where the fuse lives. I'm gonna push that in. Okay. Back at the circuit breaker, we can finally fire this up. Okay, let's the moment of truth. Equipment. Okay, it's sensing the wires. Continue. Excellent. No more of that error message. And uh, let's see. Let's test this out. Going to... I need cool because it's hot in here. All right. There we go. I'm hearing the blower. And uh, I want it to cool down to 70 because it's about 80 degrees in here now. And happy to report that that was a simple fix. That fuse, those Google Nest support people, uh, somehow totally missed it despite two and a half hours of troubleshooting. That uh, lesson learned. Hope this helps someone. Thank you. Upgrading old Honeywell uh, thermostat control with the uh, Nest 